rejected me. You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven, so you could never, never find peace again. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. A witness confirmed... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations! Father, help me in these dark times, for you know I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery.
have a gift for you. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. We've invited our beloved father, Ryan. I'm not going any further. There's something down there, or someone. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? Holy water. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham. felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me, especially me. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead, the creator of all. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. To talk about the recent events. Good evening, Father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. My Fear the indispensable beast. Addiction. For it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid. Be very afraid. The beast could be this? in your very homes at this instant and you won't even know it. Very grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast?
the Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. Hmm, sacramental bread. Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen, firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night, when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly, you haven't read the Bible, so you shouldn't speak about things you do not know. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Lastly, I have a question for you. Who exactly David's favorite are? toy? Uh I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. That's exactly what... I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. Blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. The smell of wine. <laughs> 